Most of the time life doesn't work out like we expect it will. We spend a lot of time struggling and trying to climb some kind of ladder to get to the top. But what we find out is that God is with us at the bottom and that he's, he's moving towards us constantly. I've been thinking about the Beatitudes for a long, long time. For many years, the Sermon on the Mount has been my favorite bit of the Bible. I discovered that the Beatitudes, first and foremost, are these announcements of God being on our side when we are poor, when we are broken, when we are meek, and when we're hungry and thirsty for righteousness. I began by thinking this would just be a great idea for a record of songs, you know, eight nice, tidy themes. But as I've gone on this journey, I've found some amazing stories of people in amazing situations that are struggling to survive or they're helping the poor. When I think about mercy, what comes to mind is those last days on the street where I was believing the lie that I was going to die on the streets. I would hit the pipe and then I would look up and I don't suggest this for anybody, but I was cursing God and like, you know, UMF, you know, you see me down here. If you're real, do something. Blessed are the peacemakers. That means blessed are those who are fulfilling the desire of God to see humanity live in peace and to see peace and reconciliation take place between God the Creator and humanity. I was on death row for 27 years, but I got the biggest punch of mercy when the governor gave me a clemency and said that I would get to come home after 27 years. So today for me, mercy is driving down the street in traffic that will not move. Mercy is going to the pro board and every six months and saying, I'm doing good, thank you, and they sign my little sheet. I'll be doing that for life, but that's still mercy. I think talking about the meek, I've discovered that the meek are different than maybe even our own definitions from the Bible that we think God meant or Jesus meant. I think people are underserved. I think they're overlooked, they're overshadowed. Uh, they're under-resourced. That group of people, I believe, constitutes the meek. The whole thing is a big journey of discovery. It's music and it's a book, hopefully a documentary film. The aim is to tell the stories that helps us understand what these announcements were and are in respect to being alive in the 21st century. So that's day three of uh, recording the, the first three songs of, of this project that I'm so excited about. Just here at the Smokestack, we've had an incredible two days and about to have another incredible day with this crew. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Get a little $3 Moroccans, you know. There go to. Uh, and boom! That's cool. And we're out. Stu's take on the Beatitudes and the songs that it has inspired is just fresh and new to me. And the way that Stu is collaborating with other people is it's really one of the things that I live and breathe for in music. And I think it's really exciting. And all the people he's bringing together, you know, is something that may not happen in another situation. When Stu asked me to write the song on Mercy, I was already hooked by the way he had described the Beatitudes. It was like Jesus was looking at a crowd of humanity saying, blessed are all who have dirty feet and those of you that stink and anyone whose stomach is growling, you're blessed, and here's why. It's a really collaborative project all the way through, from people that helped me write songs, to singing on the record, and also people that I'm talking to to gather their stories for the book. It's not just about me and my story. I want to help bring alive these announcements so that anyone can understand them.